Right, so this is the story of Doctor Strange, as far as I understand it. So we start in a library where we meet Caecilius and his goons. They use magic to string up the librarian and then don't use magic to cut off his head. They catch his head in a bucket, just for a laugh, I think. Then Caecilius just rips a page out of a library book and you're like, whoa, this guy is super evil. Like, defacing a library book is even worse than when he defaced the librarian a minute ago. Suddenly, Tilda Swinton appears and chases him to London and starts using magic stuff to fold up the city. This is actually what London is currently planning on doing to try and distance itself from the rest of England, but enough about Brexit. Cut to Stephen Strange, an amazing neurosurgeon who is so good at his job that he can answer music quizzes at the same time as operating. Now that's a good neurosurgeon. Okay, next question, please. Uh, you cut me open and I keep bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding. Ah, Bleeding Love, Leona Lewis, 2007. No, actually, it's the patient, uh, just now. Oh, I see. I forgot to put them under. Check Wikipedia that I was right about Leona Lewis, though. Yes, Stephen Strange is great at his job. He's amazing at multitasking. He can even do his job while driving a car. Oh, no, no, he can't. Yeah, no, he's crashing. Still crashing. Wow, yeah, no, still crashing. This is a long crash. Oh. Wow, Stephen Strange is amazing at crashing. This guy is fantastic. So Doctor Strange wakes up. I'm sorry, Stephen. Your hands are basically ruined. Oh no, I need them. It's pretty much a miracle that only your hands were really damaged, to be honest. That crash looked really bad. Like, really bad. I can only assume that my hands must have instinctively tried to repair the car as it was crashing and ended up getting hurt the most. My hands were just that good, I suppose. Is the car okay? Uh, no, the car's completely wrecked. It's probably fine. I probably fixed it. Oh, this is Christine, by the way, played by Rachel McAdams. Christine is also an incredible doctor, but not quite as good as Stephen Strange. I'm sure if she tried to get good at magic, she'd be equally not quite as good at that, too. She used to date Stephen Strange, and they basically have this fight. Stephen, what are you doing? I'm learning to be a neurosurgeon with my feet. That's not possible. That is no limit to my genius. You only ever think about yourself, don't you? No. Yeah, right. On the positive, it looks like your handwriting is getting better. Oh, no, I wrote that before the accident. After getting nowhere with Western medicine, Strange heads to the East in search of Kamar Taj. He finds Mordo, played by Chiwetel Ejiofor. I am Mordo. Ah, oh, I'm Stephen Strange. Hey, Mordo, aren't you a villain in the comics? What? No, I'm, I'm a good guy. But in the comics, you're a pretty big deal, right? Shut up. I'm not a villain. Well, it's just like, I'm pretty sure you're one of my main villains, so I'm, I'm a little bit suspicious of you. So they head to Kamartage, where Strange is introduced to the Ancient One. Oh, sorry, uh, the Ancient One. Oh, you're the Ancient One. You're... you're white. I, I, I thought that... Huh. You thought that man was the Ancient One. That makes you the racist, my friend. I don't think that's quite... Look, he's a caricature in the comic, so instead of keeping him Asian and making him maybe less of a caricature, he's now me, a, a white woman. Okay, I mean, it's a little bit weird, you being white. I'm white? Well, I, I guess I didn't notice, because I'm not racist. Okay, it's just that after Star Trek Into Darkness, I've been trying to avoid any whitewashing stuff, so... Ugh, whatever. My name is Stephen Strange, another alliterative superhero name. Much like uh, Clark Kent, Peter Parker, Tony Tark, and Hulk Hogan. I don't think that's Hulk's real name. So the Ancient One tries to show Strange how magic works, but he's all like, I don't believe in all this mumbo-jumbo. I only believe in science and giant green rage monsters and aliens and uh, sentient robots and Norwegian gods, but none of this nonsense. So the Ancient One punches Strange so hard his astral self is punched out of his body for a bit. Okay, fair enough, I'm convinced. Not sure if you are quite yet. And she sends him on this crazy vision trip. Your reality is one of many. There are multiple universes, multiple cinematic universes, seemingly infinite of them, but this is the only good one, trust me, you don't need to worry about the others. Teach me. No. Please? Uh, fine. And so the training begins. Okay, so basically magic is like sparklers. You just draw in the air just like sparklers. Wait, what are you doing? I'm writing my name. That's what you do with sparklers. But that's not a spell. But if it was, it would be a great spell. Later, Strange heads to the library where he meets Wong. Wait, your name is Wong? God, what a stereotypically Asian name. See, there's the racism I was looking for earlier with the Ancient One. Right, well, I'm, I'm played by Benedict Wong. Oh, I see. 
Yeah, never mind. So Strange learns how to use the sling ring to create portals. So it's basically a catering wheel. That's right, all of our magic is based on fireworks for some reason. Oh, cool. The Ancient One takes Strange to Everest. Oh my god, this is Mount Everest. I, I did it. I actually climbed Everest. Well, no, you, you didn't really. I didn't even try, but I, I've done it. That's such an accomplishment. I am amazing. So Doctor Strange becomes amazing at being a wizard despite his handicap. At this point, Wong decides to fill Strange in on everything. Okay, so basically there's three sanctums in the world, one in New York, one in Hong Kong, and one in London. Together they generate a protective shield around our world. Well, I mean, only really the Northern Hemisphere, but, you know, it's, it's, it's most of it. We need this to be protected from Dormammu. Who? A being of infinite power, of endless hunger, on a quest to invade every universe. Wow, Oof. he sounds pretty powerful. I mean, he he makes Thanos sound pretty weak in comparison. Are you sure we should be going up against him in this random movie? Because, you know, Thanos is meant to be the ultimate villain and he's just sort of sat on a chair for 14 movies. And before anyone can think about that, Kaecilius attacks the Sanctums and Doctor Strange has to fight him and his minions. He gets help from a magic cape that helps him fly and has a mind of its own and will probably get its own movie in about ten years. So everyone starts fighting in the mirror dimension and everything is folding in on itself again in a way that's kind of like uh, Inception meets uh, Inception. And the Ancient One ends up getting stabbed in this massive scene. As the Ancient One is dying, she tells Strange the most significant lesson of all. It's not about you. Really? Because the movie's called Doctor... No, that's not what I mean. You and Mordo must work together to stop Dormammu. Hey guys, um, what's, uh, what's going on? Am I allowed in this conversation? It's just, you know, if this is a dying conversation, I've, I've been with you for quite a long time, Ancient One, and I'd like to, um, you know... Sorry, Mordo. No villains allowed. I'm not a bloody... Okay, fine. Goodbye, then. Ugh, bad guy. Anyway, as I was saying... Death is what gives life meaning, and it also gives meaning to stakes in comic books. If people keep coming back every time they're killed, then, you know, it's sort of meaningless. I mean, we haven't seen too many resurrections in the cinematic universe yet, but you wait. We will. So the Ancient One dies, and Strange and Christine have a touching moment. You said there'd be another way to save lives. A harder way. A weirder way. A stranger way. Now, now, okay, you ruined the moment. So Strange goes to fight Kaecilius and Dormammu, and realises he has to use magic time stuff to defeat Dormammu. Dormammu, I've come to bargain. No, Mr. Strange, I expect you to die. Dormammu, I've still come to bargain. Wait, what? What, what, what is this? This is time. It sucks. What do you want? I want to bargain. As I said, I don't like repeating myself. Look, stay away from Earth, okay? Ugh, oh, fine. Wait, uh, what about all the other planets and universes? Can I still invade them? Um, yeah, 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 do, do what you want with them. Oh, cool. Kaecilius, hey, uh, so I bargained with Dormammu, and you have to go to his dimension forever now, is that okay? Oh, cool, well, that's what I wanted. Paradise in Dormammu's dimension. I know, so yeah, enjoy eternity in the dark dimension. Thank you, I will, mate. Why is it called the Dark Dimension? That's an odd name for a paradox. Bye! So Doctor Strange saves the day and didn't again break his coat to protect all human life. Instead, he just sent some people to suffer for all eternity, which is a bit of a loophole, I guess. But Doctor Strange still has the Eye of Agamotto. I'll make sure nobody gets their hands on this eye. I will protect it with my life. You'd better. It's very valuable. It contains an Infinity Stone. Infinity? Oh. So it's, it's going to get stolen by Thanos at some point, is it? You know, if it's going to get stolen anyway, then maybe I won't protect it with my life. The end. Pangborn. It's me, Mordo. Mordo? Oh yeah, the, the villain guy, right? I'm not a bloody vi- Fine, I will be then.